The two functions we'll be covering are the match and index. First off, the match function. Now the definition of that is that it's going to return a numerical representation of a value's place in a single row or a column, also known as a vector, the column range that is, and it's often used to return an item's row number for use in another lookup function like the index function, which we're going to be covering in just a minute. So first off, what you're seeing here is my database, and I have my employee ID that I want to look up, but which employee ID? Let's keep it simple, like the second from the top, which is Bob Appleman, so it's going to be this number right here, so I'll come up here and I'll type in 987654321. Now I want to return the item's row number. Now for me, I'm looking at this going, okay, it's the second, but according to the database and how Excel is going to be looking at it by using the match function, the header row is considered the first row. Then it'll count down one, two, so a total of three. Let's go ahead and use the match function here to return the row ID by typing in equals MAT. There we go. Returns relative position of an item in an array that matches a specified value in a specified order. So with it highlighted, hit the tab key to pop it open. And what's our lookup value? It's going to be in this cell. And then comma to go to the next argument in the syntax. And what's our lookup array? In other words, the range that we'll be looking at, the vector, the column range. And it's going to be this range right here, which is cell A5, all the way down to A73, which is going to be the same column. Because remember, the match only looks up in a row or a column, and we're going to be doing the column here. So let's type in A5, colon, which means through A73, which takes us all the way to the end of that column, and then comma, and then what match type? The exact match. We want to make sure that what we're looking up here, his employee ID for Bob Appleman, gets an exact match here, so we want to type in 0, hit enter, and it says that it's in row 3. So again, it's looking at the header row, saying that that's row 1, 2, and then 3. Now in conjunction with the index function, which returns value in a row and or column of a cell range. And so if I come up here and I say I want to get the employee whose row ID is number 3, which is the third row down, then go ahead and type in equals index, and there it is, returns a value or reference of the cell at that intersection of a particular row and column in a given range. So index highlighted, hit the tab key to pop it open, and it says what table you're looking at. Well, it's this entire table here, but I called it my data. And you can see, as you recall in an earlier training video, you can name your ranges with selecting it, typing it up here, the name of it. So it's data. You can see it selects everything here, including the header row, or the labels for each column. With it highlighted, hit the tab key to pop it open, comma, and then what's the row number? Well, it's this one right here that the match brought up, which is going to be row, the third row down from the header, one, two, three, that one right there. And then comma, and then it says the column number that you want to return the information from. So after it finds it, looking in this database, and referencing the row number, which is three, this one right here, in that row right here, which column do we want? We want the employee's name, so that's going to be, this is the first one, that's the second one, so we'll type in 2, hit enter, and hey, there we go. So you can see how they work in conjunction. They could be used separately, and your own database is the limit if you need to look up for a specific row and to find the row number so you can reference it for other reasons, that's fine. But in conjunction with that, you can actually use it to pull up information anywhere along that row if you identify the column by using the index function, again, in conjunction, after you have the match function, identifying the row number. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.